Hey traders, to watch this video here from Monday, September 13th. Um, little action in the SPY on Friday. Not, you know, not bullish action, but kind of rolling over here. It is worth noting, you see the green line. The SPY has certainly honored that area. Uh, the green line is the 60 EMA, which you can kind of in your, in your brain bend it and say that's pretty close to the 50 EMA. It's, it's on 60s because of my five minute chart. Those of you who know me know why. Um, but we're rolling over a little bit. Maybe we get a little bit of extra volume. So maybe some volume finally comes back in the market. August is over. The holiday week attached to uh, Labor Day is over. Maybe we get a little more volume. There's been some decent activity anyway. Before I show a couple highlights from, uh, from Friday, I'm just going to quickly mention today, this is Sunday, is the last day to get that free upgrade from the one-year membership to a lifetime. I know a lot of people watching this are already members, but there's also people that are not members that watch this. Um, the lifetime option uh, for the price of one year, and it, it, lifetime's going away again um, after today. So anyway, wanted to mention that. A um, couple highlights from Friday. What a great call by Wayne late in the day. This is IRNT, I'm showing you the daily, but he, he gave the 20 break idea when it looked like this. He had the earlier high above. It's also obviously, let me pan out a little bit more, obviously a recent high flyer. Okay, so you had a catalyst above on a recent high flyer, whole number inflection point break. You have several things working for it. Um, and the 20 break got you pretty darn quickly, honestly, to almost 24.50. Uh, they went to 24.40. So a $4.40 move on probably about 30 cents risk. That was an amazing call by Wayne. He also called um, ZEV. I want to say like at uh, 977, probably right, at, right about there, I think. And he had a nice little decent move too. I had a good day on Friday and I actually missed um, the IRNT call. So anyway, great teamwork going on and we're going to look at what we're looking at for Monday. So TTO, big volume and, you know, it closed about where it opened, but I'm definitely going to watch that for a follow through day. AFRM, just a massive breakout. On Friday, we're going to keep that on our radar for several days. Maybe we get a, just a clean red to green or something tomorrow. We'll see. IRNT with that intraday move, and I'll give you the numbers. On Friday, it went from a low of 1772 all the way up to a high of 2440. That's a really nice move. Um, if that that one could continue, I certainly want to watch it. It really made a nice move on Friday. ISEE massive volume, 160 million shares, closing well off its highs. It's extended. Um, but I do want to keep uh, keep an eye on that for the next few days. EFTR is this one that made this crazy move. And now you got a few days lower. Um, so I do want to watch that for a potential bounce play. You guys know my favorite entry on a bounce play would be an afternoon high of day break. So we'll see if it gives us that. But there are other entries we could look for as well. Um, EEIQ, biggest volume in the history of its trading. Uh, closing well off its highs. It went to 768 before closing at 631. And it's worth noting that it's a Chinese education play. So those are not exactly in favor, but maybe they're turning the corner here. We'll see if it gives an A-plus setup. Um, some nice pullback calls in that in the chat room on Friday. SGMA, I believe they had earnings on Friday and a pretty strong move, especially when you consider how weak the market was. So we're going to keep our eyes on that. RKLB. Massive move from 10 to over 21 in about a week. Generally, you want to see something come back down to the moving averages, right? Two or three red days on declining volume. This only has one red day. I understand that it feels a little early to be watching it for a bounce play, but sometimes when you have a really, really strong stock, you get one red day and then it goes again. So even though it's extended from the moving averages, as a day trader who's in cash every night, I am going to keep that one on a chart, see if it gives us an A plus intraday setup. GEVO. I like this one for a third day play. Big breakout with the news with a collaboration with Chevron. That's big news for this company. And then you got a quiet inside day on much lower volume. I'm looking for a third day play there. And then I actually have Apple on watch. I had a nice bounce play in that one on Friday. And it's pretty beaten up. I mean, three days in a row lower, but that's a big down day for Apple. 155.48 all the way down to 148.70. Um, it also has pretty decent support around that 145 area. So if we get an early sell-off, I'll be looking in this area for an intraday bounce. But anyway, Apple goes on watch for a for potential bounce play. It may never trigger, we'll see. And I'm gonna leave it at that. We'll see everybody in the chat room on Monday morning.